I have made a guide on the Mac display system preferences that you have to turn off before you run any display calibration on your Macintosh system. Since I released that guide, macOS has been upgraded more than a few times already, and there are a few new settings that you need to go and make sure you turn off. In this video, I'm going to give you the upgraded guide and checklist of things that you need to make sure you turn off before you run a display calibration. I'm Art, and this is Art is Right. Before we start, please subscribe if you're new and hit on the notification bell so you'll be updated every time I upload cool new videos like this. So when I'm talking about display in this case, this applies to all display. Any Mac built-in display, such as the one on my MacBook Pro here, or any iMac or Mac laptop for that matter, or any external display, whether it is capable of hardware calibration or not, you would come in and turn off all these system preferences for the display to make sure that it doesn't influence the way how you're calibrating your display. I'm going to focus first on my Mac with the built-in display in this case by starting a system preferences and going under display setting. From there, you will see that right at the top it says built-in retina display. You want to make sure that you are in the display tab and the first thing that you want to make sure that you go in and disable is automatic brightness adjustment. Because if you don't do this, as you take your Mac laptop or portable Mac for that matter to different environment, it's automatically going to sense the brightness in the area and constantly adjust your display brightness. When you do color critical work, what you want to make sure is that you're working on a fixed brightness range of anywhere between 80 to 120 candela. If you want to know how to calibrate your Mac built-in display and also how to find the right brightness value, and tricks on how to get there, I will put a link to a video in the description below. Secondly, you also want to make sure that you come in here and turn off True Tone. What True Tone is doing is that it's sensing the light in the environment, the ambient light. In this case, if the ambient light is warmer, it's going to adjust the display white point so that it matches the ambient light in the room. You want to avoid doing that for color critical work. Lastly, what you want to do here is come into Night Shift and make sure that the schedule is off and you don't turn night shift on because you don't want your screen to go warmer at night and go cooler during the day. So in these cases, these are great features if you're going to use your Mac casually, but if you use your Mac for any professional work, you want to make sure that you come in and turn off all of these settings before. Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to link my Mac up to an external display and show you a few more settings that you need to double check when you have your Mac link up to an external display. Now that I have this load up, we're going to see the display preferences for both the external display and also for the built-in display. In this case, I aggregated a screen so it's showing together. Normally, it would show up on each individual display. So the first thing to make sure when you have your Mac link up to an external display, especially if your display is a newer model and is capable of showing HDR content, is to go in under display tab and making sure that if you see a box for high dynamic range to uncheck that, you want to make sure you turn that off because if you don't, Mac OS is going to tell the computer to talk directly with the firmware on the display and force the display into HDR mode. HDR may be great for content consumption, however, it's not good for color critical work because everything gets scaled down to accommodate the HDR or high dynamic range content in that case. The next thing you want to do is again go in and making sure that, for instance, night shift is also turned off. If you have already turned this off, you're good, you're perfectly set, but if you don't, you want to make sure that you go ahead and turn that off. Lastly, you want to make sure that you check your Mac built-in display too so that the automatic adjust brightness and true tone is also turned off in this case. Because if you don't turn true tone off, what happened is True Tone does not only affect Mac built-in display, but it will also affect the way how your color or the white point is rendering on your external display too, and it's constantly sensing the ambient light in a room. So if your room has natural light coming in, it's going to change the white point of your display throughout the day, and you want to make sure that you avoid that from happening. So I hope that you find this guide on display system preferences to turn off before you do a calibration helpful. If you have any questions about this, leave them in the comment section below. Give this video a like if you find it helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you are new. And until next time, art is right.